Mm. Here we go. Romario's coming home. Ugh. Oh, it's the Nielsen. Romario! Boom! What's the crack, lads? Welcome to the ultimate Romario breakdown. We're talking skills, training guides, player builds, and of course, showing you in-game gameplay of Romario Beaston. Is he the best center forward in the game? We're also going to compare him to the other versions of Romario. So let's go. So we're going to go straight into the action and see Romario do what he does best. Split the defense or else take him on and beat the last man with a little bit of dribbling and direct, balanced, tight possession style attack, run and gun. Be able to split the defense, as I already said, or peel off the shoulder. If Margot Robbie was in the game, lads, this is the Margot Robbie of Dream Team cards. Romario, unstoppable, unrivaled. You'll see the hand go up. He's not calling for a taxi, lads. He's waiting for that ball to come through, and he's going to peel like an orange. Beautiful. Now, this trick, obviously, a little bit of skill comes into that and a bit of luck. Obviously, the teleportation Hogwarts Legacy style there is, is not going to work all the time, but there's more clips to go. Again, you'll see him peel off. I genuinely think he's unrivaled doing the, these type of runs. And it's not just his goals. It's the fact that your the opponent's whole defense is super focused on Romario. He's also a bit of a battler, lads. You will see a lot of the time, yes, we do an R3 first touch kind of air dribble flick up here. Just basically clicking R3 when the ball first comes to you. And we get a nice little finish there. But it's not just about that. It's just about his overall play and that he's such a danger man. He's just literally so dangerous. Now, we did actually train him up. He takes about 98,000 XP. We got him on six spins, so you mightn't be as lucky as I was. I don't know if he's like... Listen, no player is worth spinning for if you don't want to spend coins, you know? If you want to get to Division 1, you can do that with basic players like GP, Mbappe, or the free Neymar, right? But in terms of dealing with Romario as it is, it's not just... It's his overall play, man. You're going to see tons of clips here from the live stream. Look at the opponent's defense here. It's super focused on what Romario is doing, leaving a massive gap through the middle for Musiala to go in and just get a simple finish. And the ball is slipped through for Romario. We don't even have any one-touch pass on him or any brilliant passing skills. We'll show you the build for Romario in a second. Here we go. So this is the build that I've actually gone for here. It's 97 uh, attacking awareness or offensive awareness. Ball control, 93. 87 dribbling, 90 tight possession, finishing, and of course, 89 speed. If you do have Eric Ten Hag, the booster Eric Ten Hag, you will have 90 speed on this build as well. But for any other plus two manager boost, you're going to have 89 speed. Acceleration is going to be 94. If you have the new Zico, it's going to be 88 with the dribbling on this build, and so forth and so on. But this is just a basic plus two manager build for this card. And that's going to be the build 3, 11, 10, and 10. And the additional skills, one touch pass and soul control and long range curler are musts. Anything else after that is up to you guys, fighting spirit maybe. But back to the action here, right? We're going to take a look at Romario here with what he also brings to the teammates. It's simple football, but it works. And when you get a chance at Romario, I don't think there's anyone better. Right foot, left foot doesn't make a difference, lads. He's just insane. And I do think that Romario is probably the upper tier now from where Messi was. Messi is not really doing it for me. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of Messi. But I just feel like that Romario is the full package. He genuinely can do it all. He can lay it off. He can split the defense. He just attracts so much attention. As I said, it's like the Margot Robbie of cards. Beautiful. So that is a lovely little finish there as well. I'm obsessed with Margot Robbie. I need to stop. But anyway, we're going to just see time and time and time again. Simple tap-ins, little dribbles, little touching goes, little running goes. Everything that you could possibly want in a center forward as your focal point. That's all you want, man, when you get the ball in these areas. Now, I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about the four different versions of Romario currently or previously in the game. Starting from left to right, we've got the legend, the original legend, veteran bonus Romario that I got and that I've scored about, what, 500 goals with him or 400 goals and 100 assists in 500 games. I know people that have scored 900 goals in a thousand games with this Romario card. That was way back in eFootball 22. This is the build. You can pause the video here. You can come back to it at any stage. This is a comparison of the players. So the, this is the build when they've all been trained up. You've already seen my training build for the booster one. The epic and the big time. I'll be honest, lads, right? If you guys have any of the other versions of Romario, apart from the one on the left, the 91 rated overall, I definitely do feel that this new booster Romario is not miles apart from where these two are, the epic and the big time. 
you can see the stats there. The Epic one is actually a beastly card apart from kicking power. Everything else is in the 90s, which is insane. And then apart from dribbling here with the big time, you've got everything else pretty much the same as well. So they are very kind of similar cards. You know, dribbling is going to be similar. The speed is going to be similar. The acceleration is going to be similar. And of course, the finishing is going to be set at 90 across them all because that's all you really need to do for these cards. I do feel that this Romario especially can be a little bit... How would I say difficult to dribble with? No, not difficult to dribble with, but he's not as silky smooth on the ball as the likes of Messi, who just kind of glides. Romario's more kind of burly. He's kind of like, he's kind of like a run and gun, the ultimate run and gun. If I was to compare him to a standard GP card, it would be Lautaro Martinez, kind of Mbappe, kind of not as glidey as, you know, the likes of Salah or the likes of Neymar or Messi, but still equally as good. And it's kind of summed up in this last couple of clips that we see from Romario here. It's not so much of what he's doing. It's just that when he gets the ball in a chance like this, for other strikers, that might be potentially a, a goal that you have to either switch back onto the you know left foot, cut the angle a bit more, maybe do a driven shot or a little like bring it in closer to the keeper. But with Romario, you'll see in these clips and time and time again, it's just it's just goals, man. He's just so good at putting the ball away when you get into these chances. He really is, in my opinion, one of the best in the business. Now, the question does remain, is he worth spinning for? I can't tell you guys if he's worth spinning for, man. Whatever value you place on coins and your own money is up to you. But obviously, for people that are interested and that have already either packed Romario or that are interested in spinning for cards... This is kind of what will entice you into spinning for cards like this. There are a couple of cards that are definitely upper, upper, upper tier. And I would call them Mount Rushmore style cards. That they're kind of in-game level cards that literally anybody can play with. And anybody can beast with. So I do feel like that Romario, when you see the clips here, you can make up your own mind on him from the clips here. We've had a comparison. If you have the other versions of him, I would say maybe hold steady a little bit and see how you're going with him. But for me... This Romario has always been one of my best cards. I mean, he's got his Division 1 practically single-handedly by himself multiple times. And even previously in the last episode or two with the live stream, you've seen the impact he's had when we brought him on as well. He can play as part of a two-man if you're playing with Collar or Targa Man up front. He can play as part of anything, any system, 4-3-3, it doesn't make it. So lads, that is it, boys. We will be back very, very soon. It all comes down to whether you think Romario is worth getting or not. Of course, he's part of a pack with Neymar as well. We were lucky enough to get bought within eight spins, I think. But it all does come down to your own perspective of whether you want to buy these coins or these coin-only cards or not. Uh, I do think that he's definitely up there. Is he meta? It depends on how you play him, I think. I mean, you, you definitely need to have him in the right system, but he is a goal of game if you play him uh, where he's meant to be played. As you saw from the clips there, we were just scoring for fun yesterday. So that is it for me. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll be back soon. Hope you guys enjoyed it.